This program is brought to you by Stanford University. Please visit us at stanford.edu. I'd like to know that when a group of undergraduates gathers around the dinner table, and there are eight or ten of them, one of those students is from outside the U.S., providing a different perspective. It's in interest of everybody that Stanford has a lot of alumni who are presidents, prime ministers, famous scientists, famous businessmen. It's very often the kids from not rich families, from poor families, who had to go through a lot of obstacles, and that's why they have learned how to go through obstacles. These kids then go back to their countries and change the country. Almost every day I tell my friends something they've never heard of before. And just by virtue of that, I feel like I'm a big addition to the Stanford campus. It just adds richness to the campus. I think compared to other like peer institutions in the U.S., I think Stanford probably has a relative smaller population of international undergrads. And I think it's important for Stanford to consider expanding its international initiative to attract more students from abroad. People from Stanford leave Stanford, they go out into the world, they become leaders, and you, you see people becoming leaders. So they can be more effective leaders, they can be better leaders when they, they have been exposed to these cultures, these views, and we do that. But I think we could do that more than what we do right now. A middle class family from China is probably making $10,000 a year. Attracting a talented student from that kind of family is obviously going to require a significant amount of financial aid. And that's true around the world as we globalize our student population. Increasingly, financial aid will be the key issue in helping those students come to Stanford and be successful. I won't able to come to the U.S. to have this great experience without the financial aid from Stanford University. So I think that's one of the major reasons that Stanford appears to me. It enables me to come here without any financial burdens. In India, in my high school, there were a lot of students who were really good and they did not even apply here and they applied to other schools in the United States because they were like, we, it says clearly that if we apply for financial aid, our uh, chances of admission are less. That way a lot of students are lost who are probably really, really good. As we think about international financial aid, what we increasingly see is really a partnership between forward-thinking Americans who realize the importance of having an international student population, particularly at the undergraduate level, and between our alumni around the world who want to see uh, students from their country and their area of the world have the same kind of opportunity that they had earlier. I hope I can try to help the Chinese people better understand a different political system or to understand the culture of the Western societies. So that's what I think I can do in the future. After I graduate, I definitely want to work in the U.S. for a couple of years, hopefully get my MBA. Then I want to go back to Pakistan. We need people going back home, you know, who are going to take care of the institutions, who are going to be leaders back home. I think that's um, my duty to do that, especially given this chance. I want to, you know, maybe do something good for India and may make things better. Something related to public life, law, things like that. I want to create kind of like a financial industry in the Czech Republic, including all the market participants, you know, fu functioning, you know, stock market. Daniel Krizek. And yeah, I want to create the biggest Central Eastern European hedge fund. Uh, I want to create first or biggest Eastern European private equity company that will help consolidate industries. And then I, I might think about coming back to Stanford and doing something like PhD in astronautics because I'm interested in that. The preceding program is copyrighted by Stanford University. Please visit us at stanford.edu.